Me and Jules Michael agree. You gotta have faith, the faith. The faith. <laughs> now, the particular kind of faith I want to talk about is faith in God. Whoa, 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 whoa. I know, I know. Okay, calm down. Calm down. Before you switch off, let me make two things very, very clear. This is not a religious video, okay? I don't have a religion, not a religious boy. Number two, when I say God, I don't mean this guy. Nah. Take the Hindu word Brahman. In Hinduism, Brahman connotates the highest universal principle, the ultimate reality in the universe. That is more what I mean when I say God, but you can change it to Allah, Yahweh, Mother Nature, the universe, whatever you prefer. It's all the same thing. In Scotland, it's rare that we discuss our beliefs, unless it's like 3am on a couch and a gaff. Here, do you think there's a God? But for a lot of non-religious folk, like myself, we do have a belief system, we do have a faith, we just weren't taught the words for it. Like a bunch of you, I went to Catholic school. I hated mass. I thought, if this is what God is about, then I don't want anything to do with it. But all that changed for me when I read one very important book. The Holy Bible. <laughs> I'm kidding. It was The Alchemist by Paolo Coelho. Now keep in mind, at this point, your boy is a hardcore atheist, okay? I had read The God Delusion. I was ready to go to town with anybody who wanted to talk about Jesus. But I gave it a go and my God, huh? it changed my life. It tells the story of Santiago, a young shepherd who goes looking for treasure. But it's about so much more than that. It's about living your personal legend, finding your destiny, and overall believing in the path that is set for you. I was all over that shit, man! From there, I went on to read more books, more spiritual texts. I read Illusions by Richard Bach. I read a lot of Ram Dass stuff. Tolle, Chopra. Now there's a lot of pish in there. But there was a lot of good stuff that opened my eyes and made me think, okay, something's going on here. I've had a few religious experiences in my life. I went to Shikzai Mosque in Abu Dhabi with my dad and we prayed in this beautiful mosque. After the prayers, I felt, it was like being filled up with light. And I was like, Ooh, is this what God is? Cause I am, I'm into this man. The second was in Sagrada Familia in Barcelona. The most beautiful building I've ever been in. That building is so beautiful that it already silences you. I sat, I was alone, I bowed my head in meditation. And from deep inside me, I had a conversation with the voice of God. Did you? I did you I did you talk to God? Yes, we had a good chat. It gave me some good advice. Advice I live by, but will not share. Ooh. I need you to know that I know how wild this sounds, right? If somebody would have told it to me a few years ago, I would have been like, mm, good one, mate. But it's true, man. There's been enough moments and trippy experiences in my life to know that there is something else. I have a prayer routine. I pray partially to something out there in the universe and also to something deep inside me. I believe it's all one thing. And at the worst, prayer is just you talking to yourself in your bedroom to make yourself feel calm. And at its best, it's high level universe magic. So I think I'm willing to take those chances, man. Those seem like good odds. Now, I know that using the word God turns a lot of people off. We all have faith in something. If you believe in luck, fate, destiny, chance, or karma, all of those things imply a higher power. Even my wee ma, who taught me what's for you won't go by you. Why won't it go by me? What's stopping it? God. If you support a football team, then you have faith. If your team gets battered for 49 games in a row, you don't stop being a supporter. You keep going because you have faith that without reason or logic, your team might improve. That is what faith in God is to me. 
that with no sound intelligent argument, things are going to be okay. Things have been designed to be okay. And that makes me feel nice. Faith takes the pressure off. It reminds you that there's something bigger than me, bigger than you, bigger than us. There is something overriding this entire thing and I don't think believing in that is a bad thing. I think believing in that is an amazing thing. The next thing someone wants to talk to you about faith, don't think they're a fundamentalist or they're trying to convert you. Sometimes they're just trying to let you know the advice that helps them get by. I've been T. Keep the faith.